think about women in particular, you know, we ask them to speak up. We ask them to speak their mind. We ask them to just say no, to speak out against sexual harassment, to speak out against inequality. But if we don't teach our young girls to speak at an early age, that doesn't just happen. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not, it takes practice to have a voice. You have to use it again and again and again before you can say no or stop, don't touch me, mm -hmm. you know? If you're taught that adults are right all the time, it's hard to go That's against right. the power that is around you. And I, I, I don't think that I had those roadblocks when I was young. Mm -hmm. So I thought I was funny. I thought I was smart when I was uh, little. I thought that I made sense. Yes. You know, so from moving from that place of understanding the power and the rightness and the truth of my voice, mm -hmm. then how you use it is more linked to your values than anything yes. else. This whole tell it like it is business, that's nonsense. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't just say what's on your mind. You don't tweet every thought. Most of your first initial thoughts are not yes. worthy of the light of day. Yes. <laughs> and I, I'm not talking about anybody in particular. I'm talking about <laughs> us all. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. the thing about young people. Yeah. It's like tw tw tweeting and social media, that is a powerful weapon it is. that we just hand over to little kids. You know, a 10 year old, here you go. Mm -hmm. Tell it like it is. And it's like, no, you don't. Yeah. You need to think and spell it right and have good grammar, <laughs> too. <laughs> yes.